Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about The Crew 2. I know this is not The Crew 2 gameplay, this is actually The Crew gameplay. Um, because I didn't get in the closed beta, but I will definitely upload a lot of videos about The Crew 2 when it comes out. And the open beta, which is coming out in 3 days, so the 21th of June. Um, so the first thing that you will need to know about The Crew 2 is coming out actually the 29th of June. Uh, so I think that's a week or something away. Um, but yeah, so before we get started guys, if you guys could leave a like and subscribe, that would be really appreciated. Um, you know, I'm gonna post a lot of Crew 2 stuff, um, a lot of tips and tricks, money making methods, um, customizations of vehicles. So definitely stay tuned for that. So the first thing that you will need to know about the Crew 2 is the Crew 2 is gonna be an always online game. That means you will have to need internet connection to actually play it. Um, you cannot go offline or have no Wi-Fi and don't play it because you will need to get online always um, so I think that's a good and a bad thing you know if you don't have the Wi-Fi or you're not able to go online that's then it's pretty bad for you guys um, so you know a lot of a lot of controversial things about that some games have been totally um, totally got that the idea wrong you know the connection wasn't good so you know it's a little bit wait and see about the crew too what they're gonna do with it um, but you know we're gonna definitely check it out you know so the first the second thing or the third thing is the locations so you get a lot of loca new locations guys um, the map is more detailed they said so you know I don't think the map is gonna be a lot bigger than the crew one was but it's going to be more detailed more um, things to do more people not people but more cars and stuff like that so the map size is probably um, the big bigger thing that concerns me because you know you got planes um, but you got planes you got boats you know you get a lot of new things but the the um, the crew one map Let's call it the crew one map, yeah. It was pretty big, you know, it's pretty big. As you can see, I'm still driving around, you know, pretty big map. Um, but I'm hoping the other map will be a little bit bigger. So, you know, we can do more and cool stuff with it. Because, um, you know, you can fly and stuff like that now. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think you can drive everywhere. I've seen a lot of videos on people which the gravity of the cars is not so good it, you know you, f you fall down to the ground immediately so got a bit of a concern there but the other thing you will need to know is it's called Fast 5 Fast 5 5 it's called Fast 5 <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it but what that actually is is you can um, buy a menu you can easily switch between cars, boats um, planes you know just a menu which can let you change quickly like um, the steep like steep did uh, in the game so pretty cool stuff so yeah I'm hoping we're gonna see more of that um, the other thing which we're gonna talk about is called the um, what's it say here let's see So the other thing is variation, so you get a lot of different vehicles, um, as, as you can definitely imagine. You got the planes, the boats, the bikes, everything, you know, dirt bikes, we got rally cars, we got formula cars, we got um, a lot of cool stuff actually. I think also the weather is going to be a big difference, because you know, as you can see now, the weather is um, snowy, but in the crew too is also going to be snow but the snow is going to lay on the on the track so it's going to be a little bit difficult to to drive around in and then we got the other thing is you get different play styles so i said with each car with each faction or district you got another play style you know some you will have to um, be a pro racer and sometimes you will have to be a street racer or an off-road racer you know stuff like that freestyle maybe 
Um, so we got a lot of different play styles to actually do play in and drive around in, so which is pretty cool, you know. It's not only racing now the crew too, so pretty cool stuff. Also we get the um what's it called? The um I'm not sure how it's how it's called but uh oh so as you can probably imagine you can do a lot of tricks now with the new gameplay um, you can do a lot of cool stuff actually if you if you just wanna go around and hang with your friends or you wanna do a road trip like I did in my in my no I didn't record it but me and my friends did in a crew uh, a road trip and it took a, a lot it took a long time so the map, the, the uh, developer said that the map is going to be, if you want to drive around in, 40 to 60 minutes to get from the one side of the map to the other side of the map, which is pretty, which is pretty big. Um, so I'm ho hoping it will be a lot of fun. Also, you get a lot of vehicle customizations. Um, you can de change more stuff in the Crew 2 about your vehicle than in the Crew 1, which is pretty cool. You got also, you got some cool houses where you can... Um, stash your cars in so I didn't see actually a video about it but um, I'm hoping it will be a cool thing you know I will, like I said I will definitely post some crew 2 stuff um, on here so yeah definitely stay tuned for that um, if you're a, if you're a crew fan or if you're a racing fan you know check it out um, definitely gonna do a lot of cool stuff on that um, so yeah the other thing is progression system so the progression system is um, you have complete freedom of what you want to do like it's the same thing um, that now you get experience points but the in the crew 2 you get followers I think it's called so it's actually a little bit more like Forza Horizon like they did you get followers and then you will get more things to do it's a little bit Forza Horizon you know you have to upgrade your event and stuff like that so um, and like I say, you know, always online, so you gotta be careful for that. If you don't have the uh, Wi-Fi or you don't have Wi-Fi stuff going on, um, it's a little bit more, you, you cannot play it. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry for that. Um, also, of course, there's gonna be co-op. You are gonna be able to drive with a crew of four people. Um, I think it's the same as it was in the crew one, so... Know, if you got some friends, definitely check them out, check them, uh, see if they want to play, you know, do a little road trip, uh, do some cool stuff, make some videos about it, you know, do a lot of cool stuff. So, I'm really enjoying, I'm really hoping my friends will, <laughs> will buy the crew and uh, playing it. If you guys want to add me, maybe we can play together <laughs> if you will to. So, also the uh, engine, you can upgrade it, a little bit more of customization engines, we got able to... Um, speed up things, you know, upgrade your engines and stuff like that. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so that was one of the criticism from the other game that you can upgrade your engine, like purely your engine. You have to upgrade everything with it and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. Um, and one last thing for you guys who have the Xbox One X and the PlayStation Pro. If you get the crew too, it will be enhanced, so you will get a little bit more detail, a little bit more graphics in your gameplay, a little bit more uh, cool stuff, so yeah, I mean, that's really cool. Um, the game looks amazing, and I think with a Xbox One X or a PlayStation Pro, it will look even greater than it already is. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, if you liked it, then definitely like and subscribe. If you want to see more of the crew too, videos which are coming up um, I think three days is coming the open beta I'll definitely upload a lot of videos then um, yeah just like and subscribe if you want to see something else then definitely tell me if you want to do um, yeah just tell me what you want to see guys and uh, yeah I hope to see you all in my next video bye guys see you